Hey guys. So the first step, I'm going to be reading off of my notes, which I have a PDF form of. So the first step is just understanding the major memory system. It may seem like a lot to you at the very beginning, but you're going to grasp it really quickly and then it makes everything so much easier and it's the key to unlocking all of these memory tricks. Number one stands for the letters T, D, or TH. So T, D, TH. And the way you can remember it is that a typewritten small T has one downstroke and these sound similar. Notice the tip of your tongue as you say them. T, D, TH is one. Two is N. A typewritten small n has two downstrokes. Three is m. A typewritten small m has three downstrokes. Four is r. The word for ends with an r. Five is l. Five fingers, thumb out, forms an l. Six is J, S, H, C, H, and soft G. So J, SH, CH, J. A six and a capital J are almost mirror images. Six and J. Seven is K, hard C, and hard G. So, k, k, g. You can make a capital K with two sevens. Eight is F, V, and PH. So, f, v, f. An eight, an eight and a cursive F look similar. Nine is P or B, so P, B. A nine and P are mirror images, so nine and P. Zero is Z, S, and soft C, so Z, s, s. The first sound in the word zero is Z. Z zero. And my own memory tricks, if there's a thousand involved, there's a box involved. So like a person wearing a box indicates thousand. A hundred thousand is wearing a box on the body and on the head. So wearing a box on the body and wearing a box on the head. When a want is introduced, that's a decimal point. Like I want this, then that want indicates that you put a decimal point there. So that's all there is to the major memory system. You can watch this a few times over and memorize it. And you can also use the PDF and if you need to, you can cut it and fold it to make front and back sides of the PDF, like flashcards. Once you have this major memory system down, you can move on to all the other lessons in any order you wish.